everybody, it's the d Rock the Hedgehog. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we took care of a major chunk of the island of North. I don't know if it has an official name. Someone please um, check me on that. Um, anyway, in this episode, we're going to check out our Stark Mountain. And I'm going to want to switch out to Shinfaxi in the front. Trust me, you're going to want to do this. And hopefully I can stop running into the walls. Hello! Hey, you! Tell us where Master Cyrus went! Where were you after you disappeared at the Spirit Pillar? Huh? The Distortion World? Where Giratina was? You're not making any sense! Don't play that card with me! Fine! You don't want to talk? I'll bash you and make you talk! And we are automatically getting into a Galactic Commander fight with Commander Mars! He's gonna have three Pokémon at arm! It's not like this in Diamond and Pearl, by the way. This is the first Pokémon! It's gonna be a Bronze Arm! Level 50! Eight, Gyro Ball, Extra Century, Nice Green and Confuse Ray. Like I said, it's not like this in Diamond and Pearl. Okay, at least she's going for a light screen. Mm, uh, Blitz should not be a special attack, right? Well, let's just find out. Shall we? Okay, it is. It is a physical attack. I'm still pretty rusty on that kind of stuff, so don't judge me. Alright, anyway, next up is going to be our strongest Pokemon, Perugly! Level 60, pure normal type, slash, shadow claw, aerial ace, and hypnosis. Um, excuse me, hypnosis. Um, I am going to go for, um, Lapwing here. Alright. Alright. I will go for close combat, and we'll see how that works. And of course it's gonna be faster than me. For a very fat cat, this thing is fast! It's like... Garfield... on caffeine. Anyway, her last Pokemon is going to be a Gold Bat, level 58, Poison Flying type. Air Cutter, Bite, Poison Fang, and Confuse Ray. Um... Send out Leo for this. Um, Leo's not gonna have that much time to shine in this... Uh, typical dungeon. But it will have its... its time in the sun a little bit later on. Don't you worry. But- OH, COME ON! Why does all of this have to be with confusion? The worst thing about confusion is, it's always against me. Okay, maybe not this time. Alright! Terrific! Alright, now we're done with that. We have one more commander fight. What's with you? Do you have a vendetta against the... I didn't really see that. My Pokemon let me down again. How am I supposed to get information about our missing Master Cyrus? Mars, you really are weak, pitifully so. You make me embarrassed to be a commander like you. Fine, I'll go up next. I want to know what became of Master Cyrus too. So, now we're going up against Jupiter. Quite possibly the most... Eh, never mind. Anyway. She has a bronze on level 58. Uh, this one's going to have the moves. Gyro Ball, Extra Century, Rock Slide, and Reflect. Ah, trying to switch things up, are you? I like it. And I'm actually quite glad that none of her Pokemon has, um, Confused Ray of any kind. Like, any way that'll make you confused. Yeah, I would be... Totally calm and collected if I... If, if it happened again. <laughs> and anyway, next up is going to be a Gold Bat, level 50A, Sludge Bomb, Air Cutter, Giga Drain, Mean Look. Is it kind of the... I'm not quite sure what kind of strategies he's going for on this one. But, you know... Whatever, I'll go for Tails. 
And Tails is going to have quite a good time in this here dungeon. Now wreck. So we'll go for an ass ah, beam. And I don't know how that okay, we probably got in the way or something. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. Yeah, right. Alright, so we'll go with that, and we'll see how that goes. Alright. Now, her last Pokemon Skunk Tank, level 60, Poison Dark type, Night Slash, Poison Jam, Flamethrower, Smoke Screen. Um. I'm gonna go for my minor game, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping, that I can take this thing out with one shot, and oh my god, I, I, I gotta say this, I do not like the way how that thing sounds when it's sent out to the battlefield. I mean, it sounds like, it doesn't really sound like much of as a skunk farting, it sounds like more like a, a cat farting. I'm just being cuckoo crazy here! I mean, that's how I am these days when I'm doing games like this. Okay, well, at least the, uh, reflex went down. Pretty good. By the way, um, if you have a move called Brick Break on you, in one of your Pokemon, you can shatter that. You can shatter, um, Light Screen and Reflect. Um, it's pure genius, I like. I kinda like that, though. Really. A rat! See what I tell you? Sounds more like a cat party. <laughs> Quite flaunting your toughness. Nah, eh, you're just jealous that some kid with a weird hat beat you. How dare you! Okay, that's it for me. I'm going to look for Master Cyrus. Distortion World was it called? I should go there, right? I'm I'm close to Team Galactic, Jupiter. You can deal with it. Following Mars' lead at anything works for me, but I'm going to do my own thing too. Team Galactic has no fun without Master Cyrus around. So, Timer, go ahead. Do what you want with Team Galactic. There you have it. We're going back to being ordinary girls. You can mop up whichever way you want. Says you, an ordinary girl, you're not. What should I do now? Is leaving on a journey the right idea? <sighs> so impersonable and impetuous. What do they see in Cyrus? Immature, overthinking buffoon. He goes through the trouble of assembling Team Galactic for what? Ultimately, he destroys his own creation for his. Hmm, Litacruz? I don't know what that word means. It's no thanks to him that I have to struggle with the pieces. But that's fine. The young can live with their dreams. I prefer to remain firmly in reality. And for that, money is uh, paramount. You there, child. I'm not dealing with you. After all, the other Galactic members who did all suffer from consequently will be off to collect the Magma Stone. It's all for the money. Oh boy. This is where we're going to need our repel. Because getting there is going to be hell. I can guarantee that. Alright. Um, there are a few new Pokemon you can find out in this place. Actually, there's lots of new Pokemon that you can find out here. Unfortunately, they're only here if you ever need to do some training. Which, I can understand it's a good idea, but... Whatever, I don't really think it's a good idea. Okay. Do that, do that, and do that. And I believe right here is a Firestone? Oh, never mind. I think that's probably a little bit later on. Um, is there? No. Okay. Okay, there is an item right there. And... I 
I needed my metal slave! Fudge! I'll be right back. Oh, real quickly, I'm on my way back to Stark Mountain. I forgot. There was a house that is on Route 228. Um, this guy will teach you the ultimate move. I should teach Frenzy Plant. You bet! Frenzy Plant is the most powerful grass type move ever. Ugh. I am going to say goodbye to Leaf Storm. Ugh. I can't believe I didn't show this off earlier. Oh well. Anyway. Random jump cut ahead. Okay, we're back. Uh, why did I forget about that? Actually, how did I forget about that? Uh, is there an item in here? Okay. Um, anyway. I want to see what that item is. Oh, forest! Oh, that could not have come at a better time. Alright, anyway. Just head up here and stop running into the frickin' wall. Hello, Buck. Hey, Derek, wait up. So, what's going on? What? Team Galactic's here. Gotcha. Let's team up and go together. Alright. So, from here on out, there's gonna be nothing but double battles. Um, I believe there is a tactic how we could get through this without having to go through any double battles. With the right, um, HM moves, I believe. I don't know, I'm going to test that out. Alright, so let's head up here. And... Um... Okay. Come on, buddy. Alright, let's rub another propel. But I really don't want to run into a lot of Pokemon out here. And uh, what? Oh, come on! I really don't want to have to find any trainers, but it looks like I probably don't have a choice here. Well, let me look around here real quick. Um. Oh, here we go. Is there anything down here? Uh. I'll, I'll check that later. Uh, because I really don't want to waste a lot of time with this. Um, okay, now that was actually worth it. Okay. It looks like there is a required double battle right up ahead. And... Uh, actually, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. And just like with uh, that one girl, um, uh, from the Eternal Forest, we will be seeing double of the Pokemon here as well. So I'll do that, and it looks like Bug has a light screen up, which is awfully nice. And I forgot, uh, Grass is, uh, does normal damage to that Macargo. But Macargos are actually really good defensive Pokemon. It has a unique type in Fire and Rock. But a Unfortunately, it has a lot of weaknesses. So, do I recommend this Pokemon? Heavens, no. It's also really slow. It's just not worth your time of getting. Alright. Alright, now, I believe at the end of every battle, he restores my Pokemon? Yes, he does! Awesome! Okay. Yep. This is required. Dang! Oh well. I can handle that. Myth Are we seeking the mystical Pokemon? Ooh! Foreshadowing my- Oh boy! Better right and a Dragon Tamer! I want a bag on so bad. Okay. Um, we'll go for an earthquake. 
Ow! Don't crunch me! Oh, wow! I actually looked away, check on something, and boom, it's done! Alright, critical hit! Alright, ship tree! Oh, boy! And a shogun! Oh, crud! Um... A little bit of an interesting theory about, um, Shift Tree. If used correctly, this thing is a monster on the field. It has that ability known as, um, Chlorophyll, I believe it is. Um, Chlorophyll doubles the speed of the Pokemon in, um, in, um, in Sunshine. Why can't I not talk to you? Anyway, Shogun's are really, are very defensive dragon type Pokemon. You've all formed a bag on, which is awfully nice, until it evolves at level 50, when they become Salamence. Salamence... ...tears things up. It really does. And, uh, Psychic will not do a gun on Shift Trade because it's a part um, dark type. And minor game just reached level 60, which is awesome. Alright. Two rip! I promise not to do that again. Anyway. And, uh, ooh! Vibrava! Um, I am actually gonna wanna switch out right here. Just, trust me on this. Alright. Um, Vibrava, or Vibrava, how do you pronounce it, starts off as a trap pitch, a pure ground type Pokemon. It bombs into Vibrava at level 30. Uh, yeah, level 30, I believe it is. I'm not 100% sure, someone please uh, check me on that. And then it evolves into Flygon at level 45, which is a fan favorite Pokemon. And a dang good one at that. Oh, cry! No, 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 no! Oh! oh. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Anyway, I probably survived like about. Never mind. I was wondering if I actually survived with 1 HP, so that would have been awesome! Alright. I'll send out Megan Neuro now. I'll tell you, my Megan Neuro has actually been very helpful these days. And Hello, Drifling! Yeah, Kleidos not the only one with ancient power. Alright. Oh, yeah! Get used to seeing that if you ever use ancient power, guys. The attack rows, defense rows, special attack rows, special defense rows, and speed rows. Oh, okay, I didn't do much damage. Um, Shadow Ball has to change to a physical move. I don't know why that is, but... I don't know. Um... Okay. What, again?! Two times in a row?! What are the chances of that happening? Anyway... Now that we're done with that, now we can head up here. And... Yeah! Ugh. Crap! Crap! Hello, 
Rhydons. Um, uh, Rhydons are... It really sucks to be these things in, um... Uh, in later games, because they... These things get nerfed like crazy in the later games. Okay. I really, really, really don't want to have to take a lot of time on this. But something tells me... Uh, I got I really want to get to that cave. And I know that I have to take on... One, one double battle here. Cause I did it before for my last playthrough on this. Uh, uh fine. I'll cut ahead from this battle. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, this will get us there. And if it doesn't, then I'm not gonna be upset. Okay, well. That was the fact we're off. Ugh. Oh my goodness. My goodness gravy. Just waste my time. Alright, you know what? Fine. I'll throw up my last I'll throw up another repel. I only got one repel left, which is not gonna matter that much, because I'm gonna use my escape to get my butt out of this place. And dang it. Okay. Oh, joyous! All right, move faster! Move! There we go. All right, here we are. Team Classic inside, right? This is it. No fooling around. That's right. No fooling around. Cyrus disappeared. Mars and Jupiter quit. Saturn said he would look after what remains of Team Galactic, but he won't join me. So foolish of him. So very foolish of the rest of them, throwing away Team Galactic. After all, the effort we took as a team to make it grow, that power could have made us rich beyond imagination. But enough of that, the Magma Stone will be mine. Oh, bollocks. Hey you, Team Galactic, what's going on here? Eh? What's this then? Chasing me here, have you? I'd like to see you charge and try their best, but too bad for you, you're too late. Magic Stone, I will let awaken the legendary Heatran. I will control the volcano's eruption and extort money by the millions. Fear me, for I am Sharon, the boss of the reborn Team Galactic. Go, go, go! No, the Magma Stone! What? What's going on here? Excellent work, Pro Dunk. Where'd he come from? Ha! This guy's was up as a boulder. First stakeout was not easy. Now, old timer, the International Police uh, accordingly requests your cooperation. I am sure you have much to tell us uh, about the new Tin Galactic. Cyrus, Mars, and Jupiter gone. You are all that is left. Hey, it's the International Police. Yeah, it's International Police, all right. That's only one thing to be done. Run away! Run away! I've been watching too much Monty Python. God, what a mess. Uh, International Police? What are you saying? I know nothing. A new Tink Galactic? Exploring with Heatran? Merely the blathering of this harmless old man. All says is jest. Besides among Tink Galactic's commanders, I was the most in junior. You could tell us all about it. You have plenty of time. Oh, no, no, no. Res not resisting arrest. You can't win three on one, no? Okay, officer, over here, if you will. He is an old man. This heat cannot be good for him. Quickly, take him somewhere cool? Yes, the cooler will do. There. And you, unfamiliar boy. I wish to say something. First, it is too hot. Let us exit this environment. Whew! The, uh, the air outside. It is delicious, yes. <laughs> I have inhaled the volcanic ash by the lungful. Now, you two. This is what they were after. The magma stone. Moving this is said to awaken the Pokemon Heatran. 
The old tale said that its awakening, it was made Stark Mountain erupt. But I have moved it. It is here. Will this cause eruption? Hey, don't sweat it, stranger. Give me that magic stone, I'll go put it back for you. That boy. That's quite the energy, yes? Greg, I should tell you why I have arrived here. After we parted at Mount Cornet, I investigated their hideout. I uncovered Sharon's plot, which led me to a stake out of this place. That Sharon is now securely within our custody. It is safe to say that Tim Klotik is a threat no longer. That being said, it looks like my work is finally finished. Hey stranger, I put the max on back where it belongs. You are quick! It'll be okay now. Hugh won't wake up, probably. Hey there, you're an amazing trainer. Swim by my place later. It's in the survival area. Be seeing you, stranger. Derek, bye bye. I said it before and I'll say it again. It's quick. I also will take my leave. The more wonderful the meeting, the sadder the parting. That is a quote I have heard many years ago in a foreign land. Its meaning? I understand it better now. Farewell, Derek, my friend. Long may you cherish Pokemon. And with that, we're going to end things off right here. Alright, so, next time on Pokemon Platinum, we are going to be heading off for the survival area. And then make our way up to Mount Cornet. And see what we can do up there. See you guys then.